In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn an income statement like this into a Sankey diagram, where at a glance, you can see how the total revenue is broken down into its components like expenses to its net income quite easily. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along and do it for yourself. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So the Sankey visual is a type of flow diagram that allows you to see how a set of data flows from one state to another. It's a visual that I covered in a previous video a long time ago. And if you don't know the basics of how to use a Sankey diagram, go check out that video. And this time around, I thought I'd cover it again because I got a request from one of you guys asking me how you can create a Sankey diagram for income statements, which is I think is a typical way to use a Sankey diagram. So it was pretty interesting, at least when I got the request, so I thought I'd cover it. So let's go through it together. So today we're going to have a look at the income statement and we're going to use Tesla as an example here. So here's the income statement that they have as an annual statement from Yahoo Finance. You have the breakdown here of the different uh, items within the income statement, along with the different values that they have in millions. So 81.462, that's 81 billion, which is their total revenue for 2022, which is absolutely insane just looking at that number. And we have other values here, such as breakdowns of their cost of revenue. So this is the cost of uh, building cars. Then you have your operating expenses like your R&Ds and your general administrations, operating incomes, uh, you know, tax. There's a lot of information here and I'm not the finance guy. I mean, looking at this, it's a bit intimidating, especially if you don't really read income statements on a regular basis. And converting this into a Sankey diagram allows you to essentially dissect this data a lot easier in a more visual way. For our diagram and for these purposes, we're going to take just a few elements from the income statement to visualize in our Sankey. And uh, I've created this plan of what I want to show in our Sankey diagram, which is the uh, this is how the flow should go. So you have your total revenue on the left and basically every flow of that revenue goes to the right is a breakdown of incomes and expenses, which will obviously result in getting the net income. We have this color coded greens being the profits money coming in and then the ambers would be the expenses. So money coming out of the business and Instead of seeing the already just with this visual, you can pretty much easily visualize how the expenses are being flowed from total revenue, but it's still not quite there yet because we still haven't got the weighted sorted. So I want to show you how to do that in Power BI. So again, for the purposes of this demo, I've already copied the breakdowns that we have from Yahoo Finance from 2022 to 2019. It's the same number that you will find here. Just cherry picked the items that I want to show in the Sankey. Um, as you can see, obviously we have the total revenue, which is split by cost of revenue and gross profit all the way to our net income here. And for uh, at the beginning, so to start with, let's start by visualizing what 2022 income statement looks like. So which is just uh, this part now. So what we need to do is first convert this number or convert this data into a format that the Sankey understands. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video about Sankey diagram, at a minimum, it needs three columns. It needs a source, it needs a destination, and it needs a weight, which is the value, how big or how small those uh, Sankeys are. If you need more layers in your Sankey diagram, you simply need to make sure that whatever you have in your destination is also in the source, which uh, doesn't really make sense right now. So let me just show you with a demo. Just going back to our plan here, what we first need to work on is by creating and modifying the data layer by layer, just to keep it simple for now. So when we say source and destination, we mean by creating, let's say the source will be the total revenue and then the cost of revenue uh, will be the destination. And the value of that will be the value here, 6609. So what we're going to do is go back, we're just gonna copy this one. 60609. And here I've already built the three column headers that we need. So I'm going to name this one total revenue, the source. 
So the flow is from total revenue to uh, costs of revenue, which I believe that's the name of the destination. And then we're going to simply paste that value, 6609. Pretty simple. So that's pretty simple. So let's do the same thing for gross profit. So total revenue to gross profits, which is this number. So I think we can just try to copy this if it doesn't break like this. Total revenue and gross profit. If I can spell, there we go. So that's a pretty basic one that we've built so far. But before we continue, I just want to show you how this looks like. So I'm going to copy this table that we've just created, open a Power BI reports, a new one. I'm going to simply enter data here. I'm just going to create a new table and paste that data here. So we have our source that we need for our Sankey diagram. We're going to name this one income statement. I'm going to hit edit just to check that the data types are correct. Just make sure that the values that we have are in number format. So in this case, we're going to change that into uh, numbers. So we'll change it into whole numbers and then we'll hit close and apply. So now that we have the data loaded in Power BI, let's also import the Sankey visual, which is a custom visual that you need to use. So from here in the app source, we're going to type and search for Sankey. There are a few different iterations here, but we're going to choose the one by Microsoft. You can hit add and you'll see that will now be available in your visualizations pane here on the right. If you click on that, it will add a visual here for us which I'm just going to resize so that we can see. And then I'm going to drag these values that we have just imported into their corresponding wells. So source will be on source, destination will be in destination, and then value would be the weight. So now you can see that you have total revenue here on the left, and then you have your gross profit and cost of revenue being broken down into another layer. So that's pretty much how it works. But obviously, now we want to add more layers to it. And this is what I'm going to show you next. So let's go back here into our uh, plan here. So the next layer that we need to work on is this layer, which is the gross profit moving or splitting into operating expenses and operating income. Now, we could do all of this together one by one, but I've already actually already done it for you. So you can see here we have the source and destination. This is what we've just started with the cost of revenue and gross of profit. And I've also done everything else, which uh, is obviously gross profit to operating expenses, which is 7021. This gross profit to operating expenses. And then you have your gross profit to operating income, 13.8 million. So from gross profit here to operating income. And you basically just repeat the same process until you finish and have all your different links uh, in your table. So what we're going to do is I'm going to copy all of these values, go back to Power BI, hit transform, and I'm just going to change the values that we have here. I'm going to make sure that we have all of the values that we have uh, pre-created and I hit OK. Yeah, that should be all done. And now if you hit close and apply. So now what you'll see is now it will try to visualize the uh, income statement for us. Now by itself, it's a little bit messy. And uh, I can see here, for example, it's not really showing interest income very easily. And that's because the interest income uh, uh, contributes to the pre-tax income, which is on our fourth layer, which is going across all the different layers here. So for now, I'm going to just disable that. Oh, no, sorry, not, that's not a destination. It's a source. So I'm going to do and disable. And there we go. So now you are basically able to visualize the income statement using a pretty simple Sankey diagram in Power BI. There are a few different things that we can do to make this visualization a little bit easier to understand. And the quickest way that we can change or modify this is by changing the colors of the links 
as well as the values to signify if it's an expense or if it's a revenue. So if you go to format your visual here, there is not a lot of customization options to be fair, but you have the option to change your uh, different colors of your nodes. So if you click nodes here, um, we'll just manually change these colors into something that's more meaningful. So I'm going to use greens as uh, my revenues and then reds as my expenses. And there you go. So as you can see, now you can easily see how your net income is broken down from total revenue minus expenses. Now you can add other things like uh, adding different labels here, like for example, showing the actual numbers of how that changed over there, or you can add it as part of your source label. So if we just drag it there and we enable data link labels like this, now you can see the values of all those links by itself, six, 606 or 60, 60 million here. From here, there are a couple of different customization options that you, you can enable, like adding the labels on the link labels, which is a little bit messy, but you can create your own label by creating a new column and then adding it there. So that will give you basically the value of those uh, different splits. You can disable that for now, just to keep this uh, Sankey diagram looking neat like this. So now that you can see the breakdown of this income statement for 2022, you remember that we actually have different years of value. So 2022, all the way back to 2019. And we, let's say we want to be able to analyze those different years individually. We can do that as well by basically following the same steps, like being having the source and destination, as well as those values for those sources and destinations for the different years. Now I've done it for you just to make it uh, make make this demo super quick. Um, but essentially, we have the same values that we have, except instead of just one year, we have the other years as well. So what we're going to do is going to copy this. We're going to go back to Power BI here, hit transform. And we're just going to simply modify this, uh, the, the, this chart here, uh, this table. So we're going to go um, hit source and just replace everything that we have created so far. Hit OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight shift click to select all of the different years and unpivot columns. So that creates a different attribute uh, column for the years and then values as numbers. So we'll change it into a whole number and then hit close and apply. So what it does is it adjusts our Sankey diagram now, which gives us the total number, which doesn't make sense really at the moment until we add a slicer for our different years. So I'm going to add it just here at the top, change it into a slicer. We'll change it into a, not the list, a uh, drop down, I mean, it's going to be a horizontal so that our users can select which year they want to see the breakdown of. So if we select 2022, you can see uh, this is how it's broken down. This is how it looks like in 2021, 2022, and then 2019. Pretty easy, right? And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to visualize income statements into simple Sankey diagrams in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.